In this WordPress tutorial, I'm going to go over how to add links and images to your post. In the previous tutorial, we looked at how to add text to a post. It's kind of like adding text in a word processor, like Word. So I'm going to go back to that post. Uh, it's just welcome to my site. This is my first post. Hooray. I'm just press enter here. And I want to add a uh, link, maybe. So this is my first post. Uh, visit our school website for fun. So if I want to add a link there, I could highlight school website with my mouse and click, click on this link button here. Insert link. So I'm going to click on this link button and I know the link I want to go to. Homer.ugdsb. Type it in here. I could add a title. It's pretty important to add a check mark here. Open link in a new window. When someone clicks on the link, a new window will open in their browser, Firefox, or Explorer, okay, and then they'll still have your page open. So we want to open the link in a new window, and I'm going to click Add a Link, and it's underlined, so now I know that that is now an active link. Perfect. Easy to do. Now I want to add some pictures to my site, uh, to my post here. Okay, so up here you'll see different icons, so if you scroll your mouse over, this one says Add an Image, this one's Add a Video, Add Audio, uh, add different media. The ones primarily I'm going to work on are add an image. So if you click on that, this will pop up. So I can either add from my computer, so if I have it saved on my desktop, add from a website, or add from somewhere that I had it before. I just have a couple pictures on my computer, so I'm going to click on select files. And this will pop up, my desktop will pop up. And I want these two pictures. I want a picture of me and a picture of my son here. So I'm going to click here. I could also select both of them. If I click one and hold shift and click on the other, both will be selected. If I, if I hit uh, open, but let's just do one first. So I click on Javier, I'm gonna open this up. It'll upload. Okay, and all these different options will pop up. There's the image. I can have a title for this image. So when someone scrolls their mouse over that picture, it will say Javier. You can add captions, a description. You can change where it's going to be aligned uh, and the size of it. Okay, so I just want a large, I'm going to have a medium sized picture and I'm going to click insert into post. If you hit save all changes, it'll just save it, but it won't put it into your post. It'll save it into your library. But if you click insert into post, your picture will immediately go into your website. So there it is in my post. So there I've added my post, a, a link, and a picture, uh, and it's fairly easy to do in WordPress. And of course, we always have to update. So I'm going to click on update over here and wait a little bit of time. Post was updated. I can view my post here. And I'll notice that now I have an image and a link, which is great. In the next tutorial, I'm going to go over uh, how to add pages.